Hey, PBC, let's talk about how to get ready for this Sunday as we gather to worship together. This Sunday we will be in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 3 to 12. So we're really uh, beginning our look at Jesus' teaching in the Sermon on the Mount. And, and this passage of Scripture is one of the most uh, beautiful and beloved sections of Jesus' sermon. It's uh, often called the Beatitudes. Uh, not because these are the, the, the B attitudes, the attitudes that Christians are supposed to, to have or embody. Well, that, that's true. Uh, but uh, the, the word blessed or blessing uh, in Latin is beatus. And so these are the beatitudes. These are uh, the words of blessing. Uh, and so I think that should help frame the way we think about this passage. Uh, often, at least for me personally, when I've when I've heard the Beatitudes preached or taught, uh, and even early on when uh, in my ministry, when I taught through this passage of Scripture, um, I kind of viewed it as, you know, here's these things you have to do. And Jesus kind of has this hammer and he's saying, he's pounding this into us. You need to do these things. And that's certainly true. These are, these are the callings of Christian character that should be true of every single follower of Jesus. That's true. But uh, the heart behind this teaching Jesus' purpose in this teaching is to remind people that, that feel like they're, they're, they're not receiving blessing. Followers of Jesus that feel like life is hard and difficult and, and, and is it going to be worth it? He's, he's speaking to encourage them, congratulations, you are blessed. Congratulations. If, if you're meek, you're going to inherit not just the land, but the earth. If you're poor in spirit, you're going to uh, receive the kingdom of heaven. Congratulations. If you're mourning, you're going to be comforted. Congratulations. If you're hungry for righteousness, you're going to be filled. And on and on, Jesus goes speaking words to encourage and uplift and motivate his followers who feel pressured and pressed in and, and, and rejected by the world who, who endure trials and hardships. He's reminding them, listen, if your faith is in me, if you're in Christ, if you're one of my followers, then blessing is what awaits you. So rejoice and be exceedingly glad. So, so I hope you will come this Sunday ready to hear from God and his word, uh, ready to be encouraged from the, the words of Jesus in your walk, in your pursuit of these characteristics in your life as a follower of Christ. I want to remind you as well, this Sunday night at 5.30, uh, we will begin our trunk or treat, and we're excited to invite our neighbors and friends here in the community to, to come and, uh, and just have some fun as a family. And our goal uh, is to be good neighbors, to be hospitable to them, to love them, to hopefully get to know them in hopes that over time we'll have opportunities to serve them, to bless them, and to share the good news of Jesus with them. So if you're able to be with us on Sunday night, even if it's just to walk around and talk to people and get to know them, uh, you'll be a blessing to them and to us as we seek to love our community well together. Look forward to seeing you and seeing what God does this Sunday at Pocosin Baptist Church.